Thanks for checking out Training with Huddle. Today we'll be looking at how to create football highlights for athletes. From our library, we're going to open up the playlist we'd like to create a highlight from. So in this example, we'll select the East playlist. And then once this video has been opened up, we can use the filters on the right hand side. So we're going to go down to Result and select Offensive Touchdown. And we'll see that we are the passer for these three touchdowns. So we can select these three clips. And we will go up to the top right corner of the video and select Add To. And we can send them to our highlights. And then we'll see a confirmation banner that these have been added to our highlights. Next, we'll hover over our name in the top right corner and select Your Highlights. We'll see here that we've got our highlight that we've sent from this game. Next, we'll select Create Highlight in the top right corner, and this will take us to our Premium Highlight Editor. From our Highlight Editor, we can select the blue plus button to add content to our reel. First, we'll go ahead and add a video clip. Once we select Video, select the schedule entry that you're looking to add the content from. From here, we can select this clip and add it to our reel. Now, if we back up, we can go back to add music, slides, or photos to our reel. When adding music, you're unable to add your own music due to copyright reasons, but don't worry, we have a few options you can select from. Once you've found the song you want to use, select the check and it will match up with the length of your reel. After you've selected the music, you can navigate back to the menu to add slides next. Simply select the blue plus and click on slides. There are a few slide layout options available, so select the option you like best. Once you've selected this option, you can now type in the title of the slide and the subtitle. For example, you can add your name, position, and graduation year. Once it has been entered, click on the blue button to add that slide to your reel. You can see everything that has been added to your highlight reel so far by looking at the timeline. Here, we can rearrange the clips and title slides by clicking and dragging them in the correct order. Here we'll move our title slide to be shown first in our highlight. For even more customization, you can change the theme of your highlight. At the top middle of the screen, select the theme, and you'll see here we have a few different options for different colored themes and specifically sponsored Gatorade themes. Once we select a new theme, this will also change our title slide and any spot shadows we may have. To edit your clips further, hover your mouse over a clip and click on the pencil icon. Here you have three options to edit the clip even further. First, you can trim the video, add spot shadows, or add text to the slide. Starting with the trimming option, click on the scissors icon. A blue bar will appear at the bottom of the clip. If you need to get rid of any dead time, you can drag either end of the blue bar to either take off time at the beginning of the clip or at the end of the clip. Once we have this blue bar where we want it, we can select Done to save these changes. The next edit tool option is to add a spot shadow. Spot shadows are a great way to stand out in your highlight reel. It makes it really easy for fans and recruiters to find you in the highlight. To do this, select the pencil icon on the clip and select the middle icon at the bottom of your screen. This is where we'll see a few different options to add spot shadows that are unique to this theme. Here we can add this arrow and it will point to us in the play so that recruiters can find us more quickly. You can change the angle of this arrow and change the size by selecting the buttons at the top of the arrow. We can also change where in the clip this appears by moving this blue marker on the scrubber. Once we have the marker where we'd like it, we can set the arrow and it will appear at that point in the video. Finally, the last edit tool option is the text tool. Click on the text icon to begin adding text. After you've collected the text icon, you're able to edit the text. This is a great opportunity to call out an awesome moment that happened in the game. There is also an option to choose how long you want that text to appear. To change the length of this clip, drag out the length of this blue banner similarly to how we trimmed the clip. Repeat these same steps for the remainder of your clips if you want to trim, add spot shadows, or add text to your clips. To save these changes, Select Done in the upper right hand corner. Next, we will add a name to our highlight. This can be done at the top left corner of the Premium Highlight Creator. Once we finish creating our highlight, we will then select Publish in the top right corner. This will make it published so that other people can see our highlight. 
After publishing our highlight, we have the option to share it on Facebook, Twitter, or copy the URL. Sharing the URL is a great way for others to find your Huddle account. Once we've shared our highlight, it may take a few minutes for it to publish depending on the length of our highlight. Now that we've created our highlight, all we have left to do is share it out with our friends, family, and any coaches. Thanks for coming to our walkthrough on how to create a football highlight.